Hey guys, happy Tuesday. Hope you're having a fabulous day and a fabulous week so far. So we are going to talk today about kissable lips because it is January. We're toward the end of January right now. And in a lot of places, it's really cold. And we you know we've talked a lot about hydration and, you know, just keeping your body um, nice and moisturized because our skin gets so much drier this time of year versus any other and your lips are no exception so before we begin let me just tell you who I am in case you just found me by accident I'm Jasmine Bryant I'm a certified holistic health coach and a global essential oils educator and that just means I get to share with women all over the world how to be happier and healthier through personal coaching and doTERRA essential oils so it's the best job ever and I'm really excited and I'm happy that you guys are here so um, as you pop on just say hey so that I know you're here tell me where you're tuning in from if you're watching the replay hashtag replay and let me know where you're watching from and um, we're just gonna jump in so when we use essential oils um, well first of all what is an essential oil it is the aromatic compound of plants so basically it's the smelly bit of plants and they are amazing bits of nature that you can use for a multitude of things from changing your mood to improving your skin to helping you focus and concentrate and to help you feel better when you're feeling yucky and to help when you have some grossness going on on your body. So essential oils are amazing. And I choose doTERRA because of how pure and how potent these essential oils are. All of the plants are grown where they're supposed to be grown. They're grown without fillers, or grown without pesticides and bottled without fillers. Um, so none of that nasty stuff like petroleum or turpentine, all of those things that can be in essential oils that are labeled pure, but they don't have to disclose that they have other things. Um, you know, when you have a bottle of doTERRA lavender, it is nothing but a thousand lavender leaves. And how amazing is that? And these are lavender leaves that are grown where they're supposed to be grown, where they get the best environment for the soil, the air, the water. So they have a super high ester count that's going to help you with all of the things that you're trying to work on. So we just love that about doTERRA essential oils. And we're going to jump right in. So we're going to make a DIY lip scrub. So grab a pen and a paper and write down this recipe. And um, the ingredients are things that you probably already have in your house right now. Um, you may not have the essential oils, but I'll let you know how you can get those at the end of the video. So don't worry about that. Okay, so all you need is some sugar. This is um, organic cane sugar. Uh, some honey, some nice organic local grown honey. And you can use um, jojoba oil, coconut oil, um, pomegranate seed oil is what I'm using, and some essential oils. You can use the ones of your choice. But what we're going to do for the purpose of this demo is lemon and lavender. So we kind of talked a little bit about lavender and lavender is one of the most soothing substances on the planet and it can help to soothe your skin, it can help to soothe your mind so that you can sleep, it can help to soothe your body to help you relax. So lavender I want to use on my lips because they're dry and I want them to get some soothing relief. And so one of the reasons that our skin gets so dry is because the air is a little bit drier. And even if there's humidity in the air, we don't feel it the same ways that we do in warmer months um, because we're already cold. And the um, our lips especially, think about it. When you are walking the dog, you may have you know a hat on, you may have your scarf around your neck, gloves on your hands, boots on your feet, but your lips and your nose are generally out and getting exposed by the wind and the air. And in your eyes, you might have on sunglasses, especially if there's snow, because the snow reflects the sun and you can damage your eyes 
um, even more than in the summertime when you don't have on sunglasses. So you have all of those things um, covered except for your lips and your nose. So they tend to get very dry this time of year. And when my lips get dry, I am that person who will start to chew on the dry parts, which just makes it even worse. And I know I'm not the only one who chews on their dry lips. So this recipe is going to help you to exfoliate and get rid of the dry parts. And then of course, afterward, you want to keep your lips moisturized. And that way they stay nice and kissable. And whether you're kissing your partner or your baby, or you just want to have a nice lipstick that goes on well, you want to have nice, soft, supple lips. So, so let's grab um, the first ingredient. So I've got the bowl here that I'm going to use to mix. So what we're gonna do is take um, a half teaspoon of honey. Now I'm not a huge measurer, so I'm giving you the, the actual measurements, but I don't measure everything. So I've got my bowl here and we're gonna squeeze out our local honey, about a half teaspoon. Okay, that's about a half teaspoon. So a half teaspoon of honey. And then we're going to mix um, our half teaspoon of jojoba oil, or jojoba oil, but I'm using um, pomegranate seed oil. So that's about a half. Okay, so let's mix that together. So we're just gonna mix that, okay? If you've never tried to mix oil and honey before, it is not easy. I'm just gonna put that out there, it's not easy. But that's okay, and the reason why we're using the honey is because honey is very soothing and it's very healing. Um, you can use honey to cleanse wounds, it's traditionally has been used to close up wounds, um, cuts and scrapes and things like that. Um, there are some medicinal grade honeys that you can purchase like after surgery for um, you know your scars and things like that. So we have the honey there. So the next thing we're going to do is add the essential oils. So I'm gonna put a drop of um, lavender and a drop of lemon, okay? Oops, and that was two. So the reason we're using the lemon, lemon is very uplifting, it's very um, detoxifying, it's also really good to help with concentration and focus. And I personally have a, have some trouble with focus, so having you know the smell of the lemon on my lips is really going to help with that because it'll smell, and what happens is the essential oils impact the limbic system in your brain. And that's the part of your brain that controls mood, emotions, um, memories, and focus, and all of those things. So we love that. And then we already talked about how soothing uh, lavender is. So we have the oils. I'm just gonna mix that a little bit. All right, now we're going to add the sugar. So with the sugar, you can do up to um, a tablespoon and a half. It really just depends on how stiff and how thick you want it. So I should have had a clear bowl for this too. So in here, I've got a tablespoon of sugar. So I'm just gonna mix this and see how I like it. Oh, it smells so good, you guys. It smells yummy. Okay. Okay, so you can kind of see that. And it's pretty thick. And it's actually it's a little too thick for my liking. So what I'm going to do is add a little bit more of the pomegranate seed oil. And you can use any moisturizing oil that you like, plant-based oil. So again, coconut oil, like, you know, some um, melted coconut oil would be great. Some fractionated coconut oil would be great. So I'm just stirring that up. Um, yeah, so that would be 
fabulous. All right, I'm just gonna add the rest of the sugar and then just throw in a little bit more of the pomegranate seed oil. And so what's really great is the sugar is also a natural exfoliator. So you're gonna get rid of the dead skin. Um, you're going to help your new skin cells to regenerate. And the oil, the um, carrier oil, is going to help to replenish the moisture in your skin. So we're just, can you see that? Okay. All right, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more honey. It's like a mad science, I'm a scientist, right? Um, totally a mad scientist here. So what are some of your favorite essential oils that you would like to put in your blend? Um, there's so many things like a peppermint, lavender, that would be amazing. A rosemary, spearmint would be so wonderful. Um, so many different things. Rose, I was going to do just a straight up rose oil and I think I'll do that one um, next because I love rose and we're coming up to February and Valentine's Day and love and rose is the oil of love. So here we've got that. So now I'm gonna do, I've got this little jar and these jars are great. Like you can get these little um, apothecary jars from um, Amazon and all these different places. So I'm just gonna put this in here. And see, this would be nice if I had an assistant who could move the camera around for me while I'm doing it, or if I had one of those fancy overhead cameras. One day. Today's not that day, though. But you have that, and make sure you label the jar. But all you have to do is wet your lip a little, right? Not with the lipstick on, but wet your lip and then take your scrub and then just rub in circles you don't want to go too hard because you're not trying to bruise your lips you're not trying to take all the skin off you just want to exfoliate the dead skin exfoliate the dry skin and put some moisture back in and of course you want to continue to drink plenty of water a lot of people drink a lot less water in the winter because they're cold so just have a jug of like room temperature water and drink that all day, at least, you know, 64 ounces a day, if not more, and just to help to keep your skin um, flush. And again, because we're not generally sweating, we don't drink as much water in the winter as we do in the summer. So, and just, so you just take that and just circles, 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 and then rinse it off. And I would do this probably three times a week, maybe four. Um, it's not something you wanna do every single day. Um, that's a little excessive, but look at that, beautiful. So we've got a nice little DIY lip scrub. So now if you want to get these pure, fabulous essential oils, then you can reach out to the person who invited you to watch this video, or you can click on the link that will be below this video, or above it just kind of depends on how you're looking at the um, at this video and, and go to my website mydoterra.com slash jasmine bryant that's m-y-d-o-t-e-r-r-a.com slash j-a-s-m-i-n-b-r-y-a-n-t and you can become a wholesale customer so here's the thing when you become a wholesale customer with doTERRA then you get me I will be your guide to support you and show you all of the wonderful things about essential oils how to use them for yourself and your family anyone that you care about and whatever goals you're trying to accomplish you can get a pre-made starter package which means you don't have to pay a membership fee it's like going to Costco and getting a Costco club card and then getting everything at 25% off for a year. So, but when you're a wholesale customer with a pre-made package and they start as low as $70 or $100, sorry, um, you will be able to 
become a wholesale customer without paying that fri that price. Um, if you have a bunch of oils that you want to get and they don't fit in one of those pre-made packages, then you just pay $35 or 20 euro and you will become a wholesale customer and you get everything you want a la carte. Again, 25% off for a year. You get me, you get access to two VIP Facebook groups. You get a welcome packet from me and um, just a lot of great support, whatever you need. So just again, let me know what's best for you. And if you're watching the replay, uh, just pop in hashtag replay and let me know where you're watching from because I love to get to know the people who've been watching these videos. And again, just to reiterate the recipe for our DIY lip scrub for kissable winter lips. It is cane sugar, organic is best, uh, organic locally grown honey, some jojoba oil, or I used pomegranate seed oil. Also essential oils. I used lemon and lavender for this. If you want to go extra exfoliating, then you can add some lemon juice, just two to three drops, like not a lot. But if you use the lemon juice, you need to refrigerate your mixture and you have to use it within two weeks. Okay. So it's really simple. It's, I mean, just a little ingredients, um, just a few ingredients. You have these at home already. So it, um, it's a no brainer. All right, guys, I will see you back here again next week and have a fabulous, fabulous time and get those kissable lips.